Hey guys, this is CG Animator, and today I'm gonna do a tutorial on uh, latest and latest animations. And um, pretty simple to do. It's kind of complicated, and uh, it's pretty fun to do once you figure it out. So, as you can see, I have a new theme it's called the Dark Focus uh, theme, and I'm gonna be using this theme from now on because it looks pretty cool, and I like it. If you want to get this theme or a different theme, just go to the link in the tab that I, in the description tab over there that I posted there and all you need to do to install them is you go here to the sequence sorry the scripting and then you press open and then you just open the file and once you have the text in here you press alt p and then you just save the default settings right here and then you have it and then you have your theme so if you want to have the same thing as mine it's dark focus and that's pretty much it so um, let's get started so let's delete the default cube and let's add a monkey so press space add mesh monkey press rx90 so I can face the front okay now we want to add a uh, latest uh, I don't know if it's lattice or latest but I call it latest uh, tell me if I'm saying it right or not so what you want to do is add one so press space add right here latest now you want to scale it up so it's right around there you can scale it along the z-axis by pressing SZ, uh, SZ so you can have it right there let's move both of these up right here okay now there's two ways how to have this deform the monkey um, but before we do that we want to set up the uh, latest settings so right now there's only eight uh, vertices on here and that's not much to the form so we want to have that up uh, double so just turn these up and it turns up the vertex count very simple so you can press the monkey and then shift right click the latest and press control P and then press latest form and it deforms but I don't really like that because you can't like apply it or stop it from happening so I don't really like that so what I like to do is you just click the monkey, add modifier, add lattice, and put in the lattice name, and select the lattice. Go here into object mode, press tab to go in object mode, and check it out. You can deform the monkey. Really cool. It's cool for um, certain things if you want certain shapes. But uh, most people I've noticed when they do um, these uh, this tutorial that um, they don't, they stop here and they don't show how to animate so I'm going to show you how to animate so press A twice so you can have all the vertices selected and press I and instead of location you want to press uh, uh, lattice this is only in ed edit mode I think let me check yeah no it's in both but better here so once again I uh, lattice with everything selected now split the area just right click this here and drag it up here and click it okay press IPO curve editor now there's nothing here even though we inserted a keyframe so what we want to do is change this here from object to shape and we have this here now this line down here is well, the more well, let me move it up for you or sorry oh, never mind I'll show you once we're done so now that we have that go up to frame 50 just press the up arrow now you wanna if you select all press the, now I'm just doing some random shape box select the top vertices by pressing B and dragging along scale up move up okay box select these scale this down okay now we now that we have that that now press A select all press I lattice and you'll notice this blue line come here and that's pretty much how the key how the um the keyframes work now if we go to frame one it stays here like it was but if we go into object mode it holds so press alt a it deforms rather nicely and press set smooth on to then give it a subsurface modifier okay press alt a one more time okay now that we have that but you know you don't really know why that's happening now because what you want to do here is this blue um, this blue line here that's the 
first keyframe, it's on 0.5 exactly. If we move this up, let's say to 0.6, right there, then it'll uh, animate slower. It'll take longer. If we move it below 0.5 to 0.4, it'll have it'll deform faster than 50 frames. And um, this right here, this pink line, is the basis shape. If we press tab uh, here in this window, we can go into edit mode, and change up some stuff, change it up so that it's sharper, maybe so that the animation work flow is a little bit smoother, stuff like that. But um, so if but if you want to add another frame so that the animation is longer, all you have to do is go to frame 75 or 70. It's good. And let's just select the bottom right of these. Press R Z and just rotate. Or let's rotate it the other way. So it looks better right about there. Just to form it weird. Just A to select all lattice. Okay. Once again, do the same. And check it out. It animates not nicely, but it's just you know showing. And check it out. Another key frame appeared, and the same as before. Like I said, you can just mess around with these. Once you figure out how to do it a lot better, you know, it becomes a lot of fun and you can select which key you have selected here. And, you know, that's the bas basics of it. You know, I suggest um, checking out some, you know, some written tutorials, some other tutorial, more in depth tutorials because I'm just showing basic animation here. And um, that's pretty much it. So, uh, if you like this theme, go ahead and get it. I'd like to see, you know, I'd like to see more than just the basic theme in Blender because that bland gray is it's not really that um, cool. But uh, it's pretty cool. And um, so, yeah. So, uh, if you like my tutorials, subscribe to my page. Add me as a friend if you like my stuff. And check out uh, more of my tutorials. Uh, thanks for watching.